1916, still there, were, there was beatification process that took place, and in 1920, Pope Benedict declared the blessed uh, during the beatification uh, mass. He declared the 20 Ugandans as blessed. And a year later, um, Bishop of Robaga, Henry uh, Skitter, set up a tribunal to collect testimonies of uh, the, uh, what these 20 Ugandans were doing in the faithful. And indeed, um, the two nuns professed and really confessed that through praying uh, through these saints, uh, through these individuals, that that's before they were declared saints, before these individuals that died for their faith, um, they had uh, cured of uh, the bubonic plague. That um, a journey that had took um, 76 years to be declared uh, saints was finally declared on the uh, October 18th, 1964, and uh, St. Peter's Basilica in Vatican. That's how these Ugandans became saints and many people have had confessions of how they've prayed for different things and they've come through them there's the beauty of what is happening in at the catholic shrine um a most crowd there the pavilion is already filled up with the different individuals that have managed to access the real vip sec uh, section uh, the choir animating the, the mass that is from uh, ginger diocese we have vip in, in form of um uh, the members of the diplomatic call. We also have VIPs in the, the name of uh, members of parliament. Shamim. And, and in, the, in, the different, uh, in the different areas of celebration, in the Catholics and in the Anglicans, different clergies are expected, uh, different forms of people. When you talk about the diplomats, in, in, in the Anglicans site, where we shall be going briefly, you mm. realize one of, the, one of the very important people they expect to be part or to give even a case speech at the event is the Archbishop of the Church of uh, North America, who is uh, the most reverend Foley Beach. Mm. Many expect a lot from him, especially, mm. especially in terms of how them as the people from North America relate with the matters in mm. Uganda. It's a discussion that has been ongoing and a lot more people have a lot to share. In the days I have, mm. I have had to move to Namgongo, mm. people have, every other person has a scent that they press through. Yes. I, I, I shared on a lighter note with someone who said, uh, when I was at the Catholic shrine, with mm. someone who said, theirs as of now mm. is Saint Andrew Kagwa because they want to get twins. Oh really? And you're talking Wonderful. about <laughs> and you're talking about Saint Andrew Kagwa, who was a salon. He was a salon. Yes, and and, <laughs> and, and, and and I think I'm going to pass over that <laughs> to, to someone yeah, so, I know, so that they also get twins. Yeah, there's there's a lot more stories within the stories of young people. The, when I went to the museum inside mm. Uh, mm. inside the museum at the Anglican site. Mm. That particular monument, if you want to call it, of mm. St. Chizito, has the most rosaries mm. of all. Mm. Now, the reason I'm told it has the most rosaries of all is because every other person that has prayed through St. Chizito, the youngest of the martyrs, mm. has achieved whatever mm. they prayed for. And this is, this is also for most of these saints that we uh, we have in Amgo. It's because it's preference and uh, how preference by different individuals and how they relate with those saints. And trust me, this belief, this faith uh, has worked for people. This is not to say that others do not work, but you see, um, humanity, what you profess is what actually works for you. And I've had conversations with the Catholic friends, um, with the Catholic uh, um, acquaintances, and they have vividly, um, and they have demonstrated how these, um, the, among the 22 um, saints, the martyrs that, that of Uganda, and that, that became so global, have changed their own world. Well, and um, we continue, continue to pray through these saints as we bring to you events that are happening live from Namgongo. We'll definitely be touching also base at uh, the Anglican site to see what is there. Kasumba, the last time he was speaking to us, was um, service was almost underway. So there were preparation, final preparations mm -hmm. for uh, the service to take place at the Anglican site.
And, and for every other celebration, there's that particular theme. I don't know how Isabella Tugume relates with the theme of the, the, theme of the celebrations at the Catholic shrine where she's en route. And that's the theme that speaks to celebrating the unwavering bravery and steadfast commitment of the martyrs. Isabella Tugume, how does that reflect on you as a person, but also the people that you are watching move, ones that are trekking to Namugongo. Isabella. Uh, Shamim, once again, good morning. We are coming to you live from Charlie Wajala, a nearby trading center adjacent to where the prayers will be. And in line with this year's theme, that is, Lord, increase my faith as a, as a Christian who has partaken in this year's Matters Day celebrations. I can tell you that walking this journey is one that requires a lot of faith. Here in the nearby trading center, security has been manned and is very tight. As you can see, pilgrims are moving on one side of the road, and which much earlier on in the morning, that was not the case, but now security is asking them to move on one side of the road. Much earlier on, my colleagues had pointed out that the number of people expected here could be over 5,000 and more, 500,000 and more, but I can tell you the number could exceed or get to close to about a million pilgrims. We're seeing pilgrims walking all the way from across the region, from within the country. We've seen people coming from as far as Kenya, Burundi, Tanzania, France, and the UK, coming to partake in this particular journey of faith. Now, if I might just add as well that not everybody that has come here today has come to partake in that particular service of giving back or giving thanks to Christ or coming and partaking in prayer. Some are using this as an avenue to capitalize and make money. Some are selling a few products, some are selling masks, others are selling a few Christian medallia and a few merchandise from the church. Security is really high and we've seen a couple of people from security and medical personnel be present and they're constantly making rounds within the area and as you can see in my background, the numbers are higher than what was expected. Nonetheless, I continue to tell you that the security is really tight and people are going on as we've seen. We've seen a few dignitaries as well gracing the occasion, some members of parliament, some prime ministers from the region, but also a few school children as well have been part of this journey, walking with their teachers to come their religion. I now hand over to Hakim Wampamba who is live in the Catholic Shrine to let us know and give us a feel of what is ongoing inside the Catholic Shrine. Hakim. Good morning to you, Isabella, and everyone watching us live on NBS television. I want to tell you that right now, at this particular place, you have quite a lot of things happening, and it could be quite hard for everything to be explained right here on camera. But just before we left last night, the pilgrims coming in from Lusaka, Zambia, had just arrived, and now those from Tanzania had already arrived. And now I could run out of adjectives trying to describe the numbers that are here, but I want to say that people here are showing very happy faces and if we could just try to move around and just show you the different people that are in this very place I want to tell you that in this pavilion is where you're seeing people seated we have uh, people that you would want to call Montua once but you also want to call the others dignitaries let us just catch up with just a few of them to just tell us what this day really means to them and what this matters the celebrations holding for them Omokuru was Wow. 
katuogera kuna kuruwa bajuli ziru tegeza chijoli era guengo mu oru subira moja iti soka nze chensingo kufuna mwogo ju tegeza mu chichigambo bu madiribu mubu chiemba nsa ze wukola mkusoka kwa wenansi nga kuogera kuchigambo kukiriza kwa ange mudini ya ange so nakuno winyo ngelo kwe kupa mutoch mkukiriza kwa ange mudini Nene kuba mutochi chinyongero kuba anti nyongero kubera mu maribu mukukiriza kwange ne mu milimo jange ne mu makagange eri muchala wange na abana katubuze ku muchala nsimbe omulamwa oba mwetuta obufu mwetutambulira buga manti katonda yongero okukiriza kwange nga chiba mu kitabo kya luka 10 na musambo kutuka ku we katonda mubufu obu wandi agade okukiriza ko akongere mu mbera efana net katonda tsaba okwa oku kukiriza kwa fe akongere mu mbera nga tutegera byetukiriza nga tongero kwa gala katonda tongero kwa gala dini ya fe nojitegera nadala nga tujisiga mbana abato bakulenga dalagwe muri ogendo okutwala kerezi ya mazi Chiri na ingeli je chibanti chifana na mu embera e guanga ya fedheri ba dili tambula mu e vizibu vya nevi yoleke de biva kuunze kiri zanto. Sibo e wow, siku unze kiri zanto no na e vantu kwenye da kutegeera dini je tu kiri zamu e nono zayo tiche tu kiza tiche tu gana no dinuwe zane kaka tamu fe. Ogenda kutoa la ya kade o sabeka tondo kutebe nkeze. We wawo bubuna njizibwa bwange ngo muntu atuongere uh, ebirungi mu gwanga lya fe atera no kuongera okubera mu dembe no buntu bulamu no kuagalana we wawo ebiriwo we biri naye nga tuongera okusaba katonda ayongere dembe ne sanyu ne mirembe mu nsi ya fe kuva ku musayo gwayi bwa bajulizi ba Uganda nga be wayo kuwa so, for those that cannot listen or hear the Luganda dialect, the gentleman has been saying that uh, in line with this year's theme, he thinks that people in the country should really pray so much and it's going to take off time to pray for peace, calm and tranquility in our country owing to the fact that many things have been happening. You can relate this to the different shootings that have been happening in the country. Dances are taking place right at this particular side where you can see the different uh, children that are dancing and uh, later on we expect the procession to be happening and that shall be later maybe after uh, like at around nine and then we should be able to think of that particular stand. If we could just be able to move and speak to the different people that are here to tell us what they think of this matters day and why they really think it is important to come at Namugongo Catholic Shrine to commemorate this day Mama Ensula Katuogere kuruna kuruwa bajuli zidu tegeza chijoli era orwe nyumiririza amuti Orina kuruwa bajuli zidu Chikulu nyo jendi kubanga banaba nsubali no kukiriza nebasala oku fili wa oku fa mkukiriza ngabakiriza mga mafe yezo kristu so bambe chokula bilako nange nembela no kukirizo kukwebali na mtibiensa baka tonda agenda bi mpaila agenda bi mpaila katu katu ulize kumbeda mbeda mbeda yokubeda nge guanga lia feri lia uo nebi gende ya maso mguanga abajulizi batu yigiriza achi o batu yigira achi kubulamu wabajulizi kubulamu wabajulizi kubine bige na mguanga kutu yambo kubeda ni sacrificial oku sacrificing okwe wa yoku weleza abalala nga tuwe tunulize kunga fabanti na yoku weleza abanti yeah, uh, the lady has said that uh, there are quite a lot of lessons that we can get from the lives of uh, the martyrs and uh, owing to the fact that you have quite a lot from the lives of the martyrs. One of the other things that are very, very important for anyone that really wants to understand things in the, 
in the, uh, if you really want to understand the lives of the martyrs and their dedication and their unwavering uh, faith towards uh, God. Now, for those of you that want to catch up with all this broadcast and how it is going on, uh, most of the celebrations that are happening at the Anglican Shrine, you can download the Afro Mobile app, but also on Sanyuka, we are live with that uh, particular prayer. So for those of you that really don't want to miss any of the things that we are broadcasting right here and the things that are happening at the Anglican Shrine or at the Anglican Matters site, you want to look or watch Sanyoka TV and you also want to download the Afro Mobile app. But for now, I know for a fact that quite a lot of things have been happening at the different Matters sites because this is not the only place where the different Matters face, uh, face their death because I know for a fact that we had many, oh, we had uh, uh, matters vigils at the different prayer sites. I know for a fact that one happened at Old Kampala, particularly the St. Matia Mulumba Church yesterday. And I also know that one happened at uh, the Anglican, uh, uh, one happened at uh, Munyonyo. It was led by Father Raymond Kalanzi just yesterday, and it was a matters vigil that was held at uh, the mini basilica right there. And it is the exact place where Victoria Bagaya, my dear, your colleague is standing by to let us know what is taking place at the mini basilica in Munyonyo, plus also take us through what the area looks like. This area is filled with a lot of people. Victoria, does it look to be the picture where you are standing right now? Maybe just to tell someone that is just joining us right now. Thank you so much, Hakim Wampamba. Where we are is at the Munyonyo Matter Shrine in Munyonyo, the mini basilica that you're talking about. And right now, where we are, where I'm standing outside the uh, outside uh, the church, where as we speak, mass is actually taking place. Now, of course, this is a dedication to the martyrs of Uganda, to the martyrs of uh, the world, and of course, just basing on the theme that is Lord increase our faith. That has been really the message that has dominated this morning's conversation. We did, and we did actually see that uh, pilgrims had walked. Pilgrims had actually also gathered here uh, from the previous nights because there were a series of activities that were actually taking place. We know there's been novena going on every day, 5 p.m. and uh, 6 p.m. Uh, of course, for different people who have been coming here. But also yesterday, like you said, uh, there was there was there, there was a vigil, but they called it the Matters Night, and um, the, the father there did even say that there was fireworks to sort of celebrate. It, but then not just uh, talk about the matters for for them dying and being there and being humble, but also to celebrate them for this major milestone. Of course, that of course relating to to, to the believers who are inside the church, and just to remind them that just basing basing on the on the theme which is Lord increase our faith, the matters did have faith. The matters did have to stand their ground. The matters did have to. They did have to. They, they did have to to go against the orders of a man who they had served, who they were loyal, they were loyal to, who they had known almost all their lives, who they respected in the community. And then, of course, he did go on to say that, look here, all of you think you're enjoying life. You have this property. You have this. You're living this kind of life. But how much are you willing to sacrifice to let it go? And of course, he did on go on to say that um, for them, it was really what made them happy to make sure that they. They let go of everything and just believe and stand within what the and stand for what they really believed in. So I want to give you a look and feel just from inside the church, which of course has a lot going on right now. There is mass out there, but it took you in earlier on before the mass started so that I can give you that history. But that's just at the pulpit, you can see that uh, there, there, is, there, is, there, is, there is a portrait that describes what everything the martyrs went through, the different martyrs and how they were martyred and how people can be able to tell their story. But of course, one thing we did notice as we were actually, uh, when thing that we did notice that we actually also come to appreciate the architectural design of uh, this church was very intentional just from the lighting which represent all the matters that uh, Uganda has to the apostles that were also highlighted but then also to just the, the, the glass the glass windows the glass windows really 
are not just there for beauty. The glass windows are to give an opportunity for those who sit outside, as you can see, these believers, to be able to be part of the service and be able to see what is going inside. But then I want to show you something that blew my mind. Uh, uh, right down here, you can see that they were able to, all the matters that we have in Uganda, all their names have been engraved on the floor so that people, every time you come here, you do not just walk away with no information. You do not just walk away um, hands-free like you came in, maybe just because you've come to pray, but you go back with a little bit of faith to know that this is a very significant place. This is a very um, important place, especially for those who believe in religion so that you can be able to go away with uh, something. Now, just right here, I did show you that the church it was constructed, of course, in uh, 1964, but in 2015, that is when uh, the, 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 the Pope Francis paid a visit. He did, a, he did actually step foot on this holy ground. And uh, you can see there, they just remind you that this place was canonized, uh, of course, that is in October 1964, but of course, in 27th of November, that is 2015, is when the Pope did come here and lay and bless this church. I want to give you a look and feel one more time. I know there's quite a lot that is happening, of course, with the mass, but then I just want to show you the reason really beyond what this day is about is the believers. Because when you talk about martyrs, you're talking about those who believe in them, those who, in, who pray for, through them to intercede, them, intercede for them in different prayers. This is uh, the monument of uh, St. Andrew Kagwan. Earlier on, we did uh, notice a man just came and just laid his hands on that stone and literally just prayed and prayed and prayed and honestly speaking I was blown away as you can see that lady right there reciting her rosary just in front of that monument to make sure that they are able to you know he, you know really pray and 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 immerse themselves in that moment so they can be able to have their prayers had earlier on uh, pilgrims from Kenya did come they did arrive just shortly before the mass began of course there is the aspect of religious tourism and uh, there was a guide who was taking them through what exactly the story here and uh, right down there is where the 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 the, the fireworks or the the, the 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 vigil happened and from what we've been informed exactly after uh, the service there will be two one of course that started at eight will be ending shortly i think around nine and another one will be starting around 10 a.m and will also be ending but then everyone who wants to those who have not gone to namgongo but they have been camped here there will be a little bit of a uh, celebration they're setting up the children who are also invited are setting up so they can be able to be a part of this major celebration of matters day of course that i did show you earlier on the the uganda matters relics that is relics where of course they come and pray but then right behind there there is the tomb of uh, saint andrew Kagua. i want to walk very quickly to one another place that did catch my attention this very tree that you're seeing that has been uh caved of that has been uh that has been caved in that uh, and, and those blue metals. Now that very tree has been in existence since 1886 when the Kabaka Mwanga was still at the top of his realm. When he was giving those orders, this Muwafu tree has actually been in existence since then. I don't know how many of you were actually still alive or still were born by then or how many have actually lived to beyond this tree. But right there, as you can see, they tell you this tree memorizes the event of 20 6th of May 1886 when the King Mwanga did sentence the Christians uh, servants to death. Of course we did inform you that um most of the most of the most of the matters actually were among the the, the pages of of King Kaba, of, of Kabaka Mwanga, and of course it is then that he was blown away by the fact that they were loyal to him, but they chose something completely different, something that was very new to him, to be able to let it go, to let go of the loyalty they had for him, and then of course turn to Christianity uh, and 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 be able to die from this. Now of course when you come here, they will tell you about the two martyrs who were killed here, and that is a uh, saint. Uh, St. Andrew Kagwa and uh, St. Dennis uh, Sebuguao. But you also will hear about the story of those who are baptized here. And uh, Charles Ranga, St. Charles Ranga, who was the, 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 the leader of the Christian community then in 1886, uh, the day after they were they murdered Dennis uh, Sebuguao, and of course uh, 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 Andrew Kagwa asked to take over, the next day, that is when, of course, they did have a conversation about the fate of those who believed in Christianity. And the, the, they tell 
tell you the story of um, of Charles Ranga then baptizing and uh, Saint Kizito, who was uh, the youngest martyr. This mon uh, this monument that you see here is that of uh, uh, of Charles uh, of Charles uh, of Charles Ranga baptizing uh, uh, baptizing Saint Kizito, and we did see uh, people come here to read about it. People come here to to you know to to learn about it and and be able to learn a lot of history. And as we conclude, of course, I want to walk very, very fast, and I bring you down here where, of course, more uh, people are gathered here and interceding before I hand over to uh, Kanari Mugume. Just walk with me very fast, and we can see what exactly is happening here. So there's a lot of history here. There's a lot of, uh, there's a, lot of, 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 of a story to tell in terms of religious tourism and in terms of, of Uganda's religious faith. I want you to come, and you'll be shocked. Now here, there's a lady who's literally inside. Um, uh, this is a, a prayer request place. And right here in this grotto, there is a Mother Mary who is right here. The monument is right inside. But there is a lady who has walked. You can see that they walk from very far, but she's right in there. She wants to touch that monument and recite her rosary. Of course, these uh, other believers have also joined her and uh, they are interceding in prayer. Just give you a little bit of ambience before I can hand over to Kanari Mugume, who is at the Catholic Shrine. But here we are at the Munyonyo Martyrs Shrine, the mini basilica where the story of the martyrs started from. Uh, uh, Kanari Mugume, I know where you are. You're in a mood of celebration, a mood of um, where many have gathered to have that big grand showcase. But here, really, people uh, do not want to be distracted. They want to be able to to take away the noise and be able to immerse themselves where they are. That, of course, does not take away from uh, the great significance and importance that the Catholic shrine is. So I will hand over to you and let us in on whether the mass has started, the celebrations have started. Let us in. What is happening where you are, Canary? Wa Kristo wapendwa Mungu ni mwema na kila wakati Kwa niaba uh, many thanks, Victoria Bagayam, at uh, the Catholic Shrine in Namgongo. Uh, we can uh, say that uh, Ginger Death is literally is showing off because, I mean, the celebrations, uh, the decoration, uh, the hymns, everything really done perfect. I'm here at the VIP tent uh, pavilion, I uh, beg your pardon, and I want to speak to really some of uh, the people here. I can see members of parliament uh, from the Ugandan parliament, from the East African Legislative Assembly. Uh, let me speak to uh, some of them. Honorable, can I speak to for a minute, please. Uh, this is uh, Honorable Babiria Veronica, Member of Parliament for the East African Legislative Assembly. Uh, many thanks uh, for joining us this uh, morning. You're live on NBS television. Uh, what does this day mean to you as a believer? Uh, as a believer this day, as Christians, we are supposed to follow the Uganda matters. We are supposed to sacrifice. We are supposed to to renew our faith, we are supposed to increase our faith. And as a believer, I'm so happy that people's faith is increasing day by day, as you can see from the gatherings. When you see pilgrims from East African uh, nations as a member of Yala, what does this mean to you? Uh, you know, having seen people from Burundi, Rwanda, DRC. Uh, as a member of East African Legislative As Assembly, uh, this shows that East Africa, we are one, and this shows that the Uganda matters are not for only Uganda, but they are for East Africa, they are for Africa and the world as as whole. So um, I call upon other countries, not only East Africa, to come and emulate the Uganda matters. Honorable Babidie, uh, Veronica is a member of the East African Legislative Assembly. I've also seen pilgrims coming in from uh, South Africa, uh, Cameroon. This is really is a continental uh, a celebration. Uh, Ginger Des is, uh, I could say, is blessed uh, to have all these pilgrims be part of uh, this year's celebration. I'm going to be speaking to uh, more, uh, more members of uh, uh, Parliament uh, and uh, to uh, just uh, catch a, a glimpse 
catch a glimpse of uh, you know uh, today's celebration and also understand from their own uh, faith. One of Chintu Brandon is the spokesperson of the NRM uh, caucus. Many thanks for joining us. You're live on NBS Television. Um, Busoga is hosting. What does this mean to you as someone from the area? Yeah, well, it's a very beautiful moment. As Busoga Diocese, we last year, 20 years ago, we have come back in style. What does it mean? We bring a very effective culture. The Chisoga culture, we are going to worship and praise. We're going to remember the Uganda matters, but traditionally, because Busoga as a, as a region, we have two matters, Gonzaga Gonza and Matia Mulumba. So it's a very great privilege that as we celebrate those two Ugandan matters, we are here to bring the best in culture, but also contemplating and thinking and reflecting more about our motto for God and my country. What should believers take away from today? Well, the most important thing, one, is the best gift that Parliament has given. Parliament has given this country, our motto says for God and, and my country, believers should go that we are standing to protect our morals. As we flake on the matters that died here many years ago, we should also raise and think that this country is morally upright and we should also have hope that we serve God and serve our communities. So believers should take home a reflection of Uganda matters and also believe that through the intercession of these matters, all their questions and answers will be answered from today. Many thanks, Honorable Chintu Brandon. Dr. Lulume Baiga, many thanks. You're live on NBS television. Uh, do you have any pilgrims from Buikwe South? Yes, we have a lot of pilgrims. Not from Buikwe South, but, but from Buikwe District as well. Yes. What should uh, the believers take away from today as a special message? You know, looking, looking at the masses gathered around here. You know, the martyrs sacrificed their own lives. They had a lot for themselves. They could have kept their jobs. They stayed in the palace with the king. But because of their faith, they could not let go. We want to deepen our faith like they did. They forfeited everything that they had. They had to fight for the truth of the religion, to the prophecy of Jesus Christ. And therefore they had to leave everything and die for that. And it is for that that they are saints, happy in heaven. And through them we ask God for forgiveness. We ask God for guidance and to give us what we don't have and to strengthen us and our country so that we can be happy within this country. We go through them, they intercede for us. It is because of that that we are here to give them glory and honor, but also to, to pray to God through them to strengthen us and to enable us have a peaceful, strong, and happy life at, on earth as it should be in heaven. There's a lot of uh, criticism about uh, today's leaders uh, that uh, they are in positions to eat as opposed to you know, being or having the courage to sacrifice for the people they do represent, uh, like the Uganda Matters did sacrifice. What do you have to say about that? Indeed, that is why we have to make a reflection about their life, coming having the high mass here with the, 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 the bishops and they select those readings that we need to enable us to understand the kind of life they lived, what they had to forfeit, and what they have benefited when they have gone to celebrate their lives with God in heaven. It, those reflections help us to transform our lives as well so that we can live on earth in righteousness and we serve so that in the next part of our lives in heaven, we are not going to hell, but to celebrate with God in heaven to eternity. That is what we need to reflect from time to time for transformation of our lives, that you can serve in government, in the highest, uh, in the highest offices of government, like the, like the martyrs served in the palace. It was no small business working in the palace. But you forfeit that privilege of working in the palace and to die for faith. That is something worth reflecting on, especially for, la for us leaders. That yes, you can serve, but you have got to live a life after death. And that life after death must be prepared. And there are those people who prepared it 
the way you should prepare it. Those are the Uganda matters who are a very good example for us. Thank you, Thank you very much, Dr. Lume Baiga, for uh, speaking to us. Uh, 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 yes, Sebo. Uh, this is, of course, uh, Honorable uh, Matia Luanga Wanika, Wakiso District Chair Pastor. Many thanks for joining us this morning. You're live on NBS television. W what is your biggest takeaway today? I know Mass has not yet begun, but from what you see, the faith and the masses that have gathered here, what is your biggest takeaway? Um, I've seen this for some years, and uh, it's very critical that in each year the number increases. increases. There is that it's a developing trend. Mine is a simple one. I've been, we, have, we, we anticipated the importance of this uh, site. We anticipated the importance of the district I'm leading. It is just unfortunate that people, I mean, those in power took it to be uh, a, a political kind of trend that they failed to appreciate that Wakiso is not a district for Wakiso, it's a district for the country in terms of development, that it requires a special status, a legal status and the financial status to change. It is quite unfortunate that all resolutions are on the table to, to change the status of this district because of this importance. But they have failed to implement. You will realize that we have so many areas which we are declared cities when they don't have such sites. So what, so what are you saying? You want uh, Wakiso to be a city? No, it's not even wanting. Wakiso was a city so many years ago. But there are so many things we cannot implement out of its importance because of the status. So, so many cities have been declared so, but uh, they are still uh, are struggling. No, those are political cities. This is a city of its own in characteristics, in demographies, and in sites. The reason why you see those people increasing, they are desperate. That's why they resort to God. The reason people are coming in more and more, they are desperate. But these are the majority. So my humble appeal is to God that the, he, uh, he listens and answers the prayers of these people so that we change this country to be fit what it is. It's a very beautiful country. It has so many historical monuments. It has so many faith. It's so a lot of faith, but we are being disappointed by the governance, including me as an individual. In governance, we are failing to, to see how beautiful our country is. If, if, if all uh, your wishing is really granted, wh what would it look like next year? Not really from this. It can't be a year. Oh, okay. Uh, in the programs. In no, the, no, no. No, in the, no, in the future, future if, like, if your wishes are granted. Look at a situation where we can put this to be a tourism kind of municipality. And we put all the infrastructure befitting. Even in terms of revenue, the government would benefit. Here you are seeing a lot of people, but the, the, I mean, the outcomes are not benefited by wind governance. I'm telling you. Look at the roads leading to this area. Many of them are impassable. Impassable in a sense that we even inconvenience the residents. So many people now, the residents are no longer moving out of their homes because of the security, you know. But it would be easier if we planned, depending on the way or the characteristic of the demographics and the characteristics of the activities within the area. And this is a question of sitting down like all stakeholders and we see how best we can, you know, put this area and I mean, and watch this as a whole into a perspective of organizing and planning it because of its importance. We have people all over the world coming here now. So what am I trying to say? If we plan, if we put in place all the infrastructure, if we put in place all the legal frameworks befitting the importance of the area, Sooner or later, would see this coming, I mean, becoming the best place in the whole world. Yes, and again, apart from that, we would benefit in terms of revenue to work on other sectors emanating from this area. Many thanks, many thanks, uh, District Chair. Uh, Matia Luanga Buanika is, of course, uh, the District Chair for Wakiso and uh, uh, really puts across a valid, valid point in terms of uh, Wakiso being the host of uh, this entire celebration uh, in terms of uh, the demographic area. And uh, as, as you can see, uh, 
the VIP pavilion. People are, you know, taking position. And soon or later, in a couple of minutes, uh, we also do uh, expect uh, the arrival of uh, the speaker, uh, the vice president, and then thereafter, the mass will begin. We do look forward to some of uh, the messages that will be, of course, uh, conveyed today, uh, you know, picking from uh, the religious leaders, uh, the cultural leaders, and government leaders. And that is, uh, of course, uh, something they do expect today. Ginger Dance is the hosts of today have uh, really put up such a great performance. And uh, right from decoration, right from uh, the uh, praise and worship and the hymns that were being sung and we do look forward to what the next couple of hours will look like. Ginger Dares is really, really putting some effort. Uh, it's of course uh, hosting this for the very first time in 20 years and uh, they say that they're going to make it happen and make it uh, of course a big celebration for everyone. We do continue uh, to do have uh, conversations uh, with a couple of uh, VIPs here. Of course I earlier spoke to Mohammed Segirinya, a uh, member of parliament and uh, he did say that despite being a Muslim, for him being uh, here today is a sign of uh, solidarity uh, to stand with his uh, you know, fellow believers in faith and in God to show his commitment and courage in in terms of uh, uh, you know having faith and doing uh, everything uh, possible uh, to maintain uh, the faith, so I, I'll, I'll you know be speaking to uh, more people here and uh, be able to hold conversation. I can see uh, you know former government leaders, members of parliament, uh, institution leaders, and. Uh, and I'll uh, be speaking to them. Most of them, uh, really, the message they are putting out there is uh, uh, the message of faith, the message of courage, and to emulate the, the kind of values the uh, matters did portray. Uh, you know, being burnt alive uh, 137 years ago, uh, the courage they had then and the faith they had in their religion is really, really outstanding. And one of uh, the values that the leaders here are, uh, you know, encouraging believers uh, to be able to uh, emulate. And uh, most importantly, uh, the strengthening faith, uh, as today's theme says, increasing faith. Increasing faith, as today's theme says, uh, is one of uh, the things they do uh, look out for. I'll be speaking to Tarsis Kawajere here uh, to, you know, pick uh, from his perspective and uh, as a believer, uh, as a believer to understand from his perspective. Uh, many thanks for joining us. You're live on NBS uh, television. Uh, Prof, we want to understand from your perspective what does this day mean to you as a believer? Well, it's uh, on the one hand a very painful memory, but on the other hand a triumph of faith. When you check on what was going on when these people were being killed, surely society was in a mess. There was a lot of fear, there was a lot of uncertainty, which you would not want to the surface. But on the other hand, a seed of Christianity was planted, which means hope, which means peace, which means faith. And that's why we come here to commemorate these giant, faithful people. Otherwise, it is a double-edged thing because society was disintegrating as new ideas, new faiths were being, being built up. A seed of faith, a seed of hope and peace was uh, planted then. Have things gotten any better? Well, certainly the Uganda of today is not the Uganda of that time. Certainly it's, many things have happened. We are in control. We may make mistakes, but certainly we are in charge of our own society. That time, the uncertainty was much higher. The disintegration was very clear. The Uganda uh, authority was being challenged thoroughly. And a new seed was planted, but contrary to what was there uh, before the invasion. But as we communicate with God, 
we have a new situation now because we can talk to God directly ourselves. We have our our descendants. Sorry, we have our our elders in heaven, and those we can pray to them and and actually ask them for us to avoid the situation in which they were. And that's why when we come here to pray for uh, Marimu Nyerere for being a saint, the moment he's declared a saint, those of us who have known him personally will have a person we know who can talk to our God. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Tarsis Kawejiri. Uh, you know, is a former minister in the NRM government. And, uh, well, those are some of the views from the VIPs in the pavilion where I am on San Bayad. Let me hand you over back to Dalton Kawesa at the Political Command Center. Well, thank you very much, Kanare Mugume, for those uh, interviews and insights that we've had from different pilgrims and the faithfuls that have made it to um, Namgonga, as we see uh, on the screen. One of the VIPs has just um, come in. We're yet to identify which person in particular has just joined uh, um, the Catholics into uh, the whole celebration of Uganda matters. At the Political Command Center, it is a promise that will give you 360 degree coverage of the events that are happening in Namgongo, both at the Anglican, rather, uh, Anglican site and the Catholic uh, shrine. We'll also go to uh, Munyonyo uh, Basilica, where we have um, uh, Victoria Bagaya to bring us to speed what is happening. That much more will be giving you important deaths. Important deaths in the Catholic Church, especially August 14th, um, Pope, uh, Pope Pius uh, declares the 20 Ugandans as venerables. And uh, when they declared them as venerables, it meant that people had started to pray through them. In 1916, uh, there was a beatification. Pope Benedict de um, declared them the blessed and uh, a declaration um, during the beautification mass. These are some of the important dates, um, and uh, we'll be definitely giving you some of these events that took the whole journey to where we are, why they're such monumental in the church. My name is Dalton Kawesa. Thank you for being here. We're going to take a break, and when we return, we shall be giving you much more. Better steady, be better. Seven out of ten of us have lost a substantial amount of money to fraudsters. Money we could have used to pay rent, invest in small businesses, clear fees, or send to mama in the village. Better steady and protect what's yours by being vigilant with your virtual transactions. Keep your pin to yourself and only take calls from registered customer care numbers in case of telecom issues. Better steady, be better. Today, be better in partnership with Uganda Communications Commission, Bank of Uganda, Equity Bank, MTN Uganda, United Media, Stombic Bank, MTN Momo, and Uganda Bankers Association. You can trust us to tell you the untold stories. You can believe that we will break the news first. You can have faith that we dig deeper than anyone else. You can have confidence in our integrity. You can rely on us to shine a light on the stories that everyone else is afraid of. Always bold. Always balanced. Always authoritative. And always accurate. Live at 9, NBS, always.
Explore, enjoy and dance to the latest content, beats and kawazi from Uganda and beyond. Simply go to your Play Store or App Store right now, find Afro Mobile, download it straight to your phone and get started. Is it TV you want? Simply open the app, click on TV, select the channel you want and watch live. Are you busy right now? Then check out On Demand or enjoy in your free time. Afro Mobile. The future is now. Get it now. Get it accurate. Get it fast. Real fast. Like super fast. Super duper duper fast. No, it's no fast food or a really quick car. It's the most accurate and timely flow of news, information, updates, stories, and the stories behind the stories and more and a lot more. The Now Post. Get it and be the first to break the news. The Now Post. Accurate news fast. Enjoyments on enjoyments on non-stop enjoyment. This is Pulse Radio. Your vibe, your way. Who says we need data? Let's do this. Do it your way. And this is Pulse Radio. When it is KB o'clock, you need more from your voice bundles. That's why MTN is offering you more minutes across all networks that don't expire. Buy the new 90-minute Freedom Bundle at 5K or the 200-minute Bundle at 10K and jazz with no limit. Katiteri ate ate. No excuses. Make the call now. Dial star one zero zero star two one hash or use the My MTN app and enjoy your freedom bundle today. MTN. Together we are unstoppable. Terms and conditions apply. MTN is regulated by the Uganda Communications Commission. When it comes to my number one, I choose world class. Aquafina enriched drinking water. Quality. Purity. Refreshment. I choose Aquafina. The global world class drinking water is finally in Uganda. Taste the enriched and pure perfection of Aquafina. Try purity today. Aquafina, only what's essential. Available countrywide at only 1,000 shillings. Aquafina is bottled by Pepsi Cola International in Uganda. NBS Sport, championing Ugandan sport. Feel like a little wiki bender? No, I on tare. Then open your Afro Mobile app, go to options section, select radio, find the station that best suits your current mood, click on it and enjoy live without missing a beat. Take a piece of home with you anywhere and anytime. Afro Mobile, the future is now.
Well, that is the procession. Um, that is the procession at the Anglican site. Uh, yeah, um, preparation definitely that signifies the start of um, the uh, start of the service that is going to take uh, place uh, shortly. We'll definitely be listening in it shortly. What is happening? Let me first take you to um, to the Anglican site and uh, we listen in to what is happening. Um, it is it is a large large team of members of the clergy here uh, robed very well in white and uh, the white is over their black uh, cassocks and uh, as well as their shashes uh, very much in tandem uh, with the regalia of the church. I see some members of the clergy recording and uh, at the top of the line is back of the line uh, we will be in a moment see the man that the Lord has chosen to give well, uh, those that are just joining us, uh, what are you seeing? A picture that are live from the Anglican site, and uh, we we'll definitely be that very um, uh, coverage is live on uh, Sanyuka TV as uh, they prepare to do a service, and uh, the procession definitely signify that the service is taking shape. Let me go to the uh, Catholic shrine where I have Hakim Wampamba to just take us through the developments that have been there since we last touched base. Hakim, bring us to speed um, the events that are taking place at the shrine. And that is our theme for this year's well, indeed, uh, Dalton, uh, many of the things that are happening here are to do with the uh, preparations and uh, the place where the clergy usually pass for the procession is being clear to ensure that by 10, the place is so clear to allow for that procession to happen. And we shall be seeing that uh, very shortly. The different VIPs are still arriving. The person that you're seeing is the President General of the Forum for Democratic Change, Patrick Amriato Boy, that is just arriving uh, right now now and uh, the place where I'm standing is a very very special place it is from our dear brothers and sisters from Nigeria if I could just try to do this arise oh compatriots Nigeria to serve our fatherland with Strength and faith. faith. No. So this is the Nigerian group, or this is a group that is coming in from Nigeria. Let us just catch up with one of them to just tell us what is uh, happening and what do they think of this particular place. Now, that song really carries a lot of meaning for the people that come from Nigeria. Let's uh, speak to a gentleman right here. Your name, sir? My name is uh, Sheep Dr. Sir Clement Oforma from Nigeria, Portacot, Nigeria. Well, let, let, let us speak about uh, this pilgrimage for you and what it means for you as a believer but most importantly, as someone that believes in the Ugandan matters. You can see the uniform we are putting on. We are knights of the Mulumba. We are knights of the Catholic Church. And we use the faith of the Mulumba to be our patron saint. And uh, on him we believe. And we walk towards our own sainthood, our martyrdom. And that's why we took off time to come all the way to worship here on the day of uh, his remembrance. Thank you so much. Ma'am, your name? Lady Uche, a farmer. Let us speak about uh, the theme for this year's Matters Day celebrations. Lord, uh, strengthen our faith. How does the theme speak to you as a believer? This is my first time of coming here. I've only been seeing and reading it in the papers. I've never had the experience of being a pilgrim. But this time I arrived, I'm happy that I came. And I pray that 
all that I have in my heart, begging God to help me, that he will hear my prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. The, 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 the issue of Ugandan matters is very, very, very critical, more so to the people that dwell from Nigeria. Let us speak about the theme of Ugandan matters, bringing unity on the African continent, more so that you're coming in from Nigeria. How does the spirit of the Ugandan matters speak to the Nigerians, and how does that unite the people on the African continent? Yeah, the, the, the theme is apt. Lord, increase our faith. The matters of Uganda we are celebrating today is because of their faith that end them this publicity and end them eternity. We, the people in the world, including Nigerians, are to emulate them for their faith. They realized that eternity, the kingdom of heaven, is the optimum. And as such, whatever we are doing in our life in Nigeria is to be, should be in accordance with the commandments of God. And when we are doing it, we are trying, one of which is love, the main thing is love. And for Nigeria to be united and to be what it should be, there should be love. And with love, there should be unity and peace. And we will progress and everybody will be happy, thereby earning eternal rest in heaven. Well, you heard uh, what uh, this theme really means to our brothers and sisters that come from Nigeria. Later on, when we go to the South African spot, we shall see in Kosi Sikeleli, Africa. But for now, I should be able to tell you that uh, Kanari Mugume is also standing by right here at the Catholic shrine to tell us what more is happening, where he is standing, and how we should keep expecting uh, the mass that should be happening like at exactly 10 uh, Canary. Many thanks, Hakim, uh, for that update. Uh, we've just seen the arrival of some of the leaders uh, of Usoga and also part of uh, the organizers, Justin Kasule Lumumba, right there, as you can see. Uh, you know, exchanging greetings with some of uh, the VIPs here. I also saw the arrival of uh, Honorable Salam Musumba, who's the vice chair of the Forum for Democratic Party, and even her party chair, Patrick Amriato Boy, who did arrive earlier. I'll be speaking to them and uh, pick a perspective from them uh, on uh, really what they do uh, think about uh, their hosting of today's uh, celebrations as, uh, as, uh, as uh, they do go on uh, with uh, uh, their greetings. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go and speak to uh, the Honorable uh, Margaret Ziwa to pick her perspective. Uh, Honorable, I'd like to speak to you for, for a moment. You're live on NBS television. Um, thanks for allowing you to speak to us. What is your biggest takeaway today? It's a proclamation of faith. This is one of the greatest days of the Uganda Catholic people when they come to testify that the death of the Uganda matters was indeed a seed of faith for all of us and the blood they shed for this country has always interceded for this country. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, for speaking to us. Well, as you can see here, the procession uh, has uh, actually started. Uh, that also marks, uh, of course, uh, uh, part of uh, the beginning of the mass here. Uh, the procession, uh, you know, has started. We'll be, uh, you know, looking forward to the mass here and what will be the biggest takeaways. The Busoga, uh, you know, diocese being the hosts of today, of course, uh, very much part of uh, the organizers will also be able to give a word. Let's listen in on the procession and uh, be able to follow events here. Ginger Diocese, Lord increase our faith. Balam sounds for the nice sound system, the media. We are grateful. 
Religious men and women, may God bless you. Wherever you are, please rise. Osobolo gobero brunch, ebige na maso wa noruwarero Kari kunku mitanu zoka, akatapu kana kene mba Kari kunku mitanu donka Osobolo gobero chitabiro chamisa, ekijo kujawano Na masomo mwegari, all the readings are in this magazine Thank you I can see already the procession on The procession is on. I see the core cerebrus and the main cerebrus already in the procession, almost reaching where the island, where the bridge starts from. Charles Martin Wamika, the Bishop of the Diocese of Ginger, Omepscop Waisazari Dinda, Nomotambizio Mokuru, Awa Yokuikiriza, Wazira Muzano, Erabo Ringa, and Ochakasa, Nchawa Yokuikiriza, Wazira Muzano. Namu Namu Gonga Kuwuma and the procession also they are carrying the relics of the martyrs. We have the relics of the martyrs being carried in the procession. To Anidu Zabaku Namuzira. We have the major seminarians representing the matters, the 24 matters of Uganda. That they are carrying the palms. The 24 matters of Uganda. Uganda, the land of matters. The main celebrant is the Bishop of Ginger. Right Reverend Charles Martin Wamika, the ordinary of Ginger Diocese. Bishop
Bengalo. We can join the choirs, we clap. It's a joyful day. Check, check. Mukama tongero kukiriza.
celebrant begins the mass we are going to receive a special announcement from the bishop chairman bishop joseph anthony ziwa Let us all sit down, please. Dear pilgrims and all of you following the Uganda Matters Day celebration through the various media platforms, I greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We have been operating Uganda Catholic Television, UCTV, for the last three years within the Greater Kampala region and online. 
It is now my pleasure and the honor as chairman of the Uganda Episcopal Conference on behalf of the Uganda Episcopal Conference to launch Uganda Catholic Television. Good news for all, nationally in Uganda and beyond. Thank you and a happy Uganda Matters Day. Omusumba Kakati Akola official launch Agula Wakati Imbe TV Afe Isobole Kutusa Amori Logo Naga from Uganda Nawalala Kweva Zomukama. We thank God for this great blessing of this, the possibility of bringing the new good news to the wild world. Now, Omsumbanga Maridiza, Tugenda Okutani Kemiseno, Natueva Zakatonda, Orich Tone, Echaba Jurizi, Abajurizi Bafabai, Omsai Guawe, Muchifochino, Echena Mugongo, Atene Tueva Za, Noko Kiriza, Fenoku Tule Sewano. We thank God for the blood of the martyrs which was shared in this place. And we thank him for the gift of faith, which has brought us as pilgrims to this place from near and far. Many of you on foot, we would like to pray in a special way for our brothers and for sisters who on their way to this pilgrimage made an accident. Pilgrims from Massacre Diocese from Jagasa Parish, Makondo Parish, by the names of Specios and Nambi and Olivia Nabakosa, who died at Nabingo, that the Lord may grant them eternal rest with the martyrs. Now may I have the honor to invite the Bishop of Jinja, Right Reverend Charles Martin Wamika to lead us in this celebration, my Lord Bishop. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you. Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
Let us join the saints and the angels together with the martyrs to sing the Gloria. To get Tamaros, Gafenaga, Malay, Canaba, to Kirivo, Okuim, Bechti, watch Akatonda. We are going to remain standing and welcome the word of God, the word which the martyrs believed that we too may welcome it in our hearts. Together Okay. 
Choir. 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 Un sogno eco, tu so che tu fune sara e gulao. Let us pray. O oh God, who have made the blood of martyrs the seed of Christians, mercifully grant that the field which is your church, watered by the blood shed by Saints Charles Luanga and his companions, may be fertile and always yield you an abundant harvest. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. We remain standing. Ewa Abamsoga Kingdom, Nabakule Medua Katikiro, Oabusoga. The book of the gospel is brought in procession by Soga Kingdom, led by the Prime Minister. Chizingi Dua Kabonero Akechigua. It is in the shrine, the shape of the shrine. The martyrs are enshrined here, and we become the shrine of the word of God.
kwaffe tufuke chigwa ngee kirese chigambo cha katonda omukama atule mitima jaffe ngawe yatula mujaba julizi Kuni atua ni kile chigambo cha katonda Nichigenda ukutulisiwa na kukalira tutole ulire chigambo cha katonda let us sit down and listen to the word of god the, the first reading is going to be read to us by a blind person reading by braille mr kajebe kenneth from bishop willis core ptc the somali soka began to summer umzibe wa maso mwami kajebe kenneth ngabera ali mo braille mo mo bishop willis core ptc I know your troubles and I know that you are poor but really you are rich I know the insults you have suffered from the people who say they are Jews but they are not true Jews they are a group that belongs to Satan. Don't be afraid of what will happen to you. I tell you, the devil will put some of you in prison. He will do this to test you. You will suffer for 10 days, but be faithful even if you have to die. If you continue to be faithful, I will give you the crown of life. Everyone who hears this should listen to what the Spirit says to the churches. Those who win the victory will not be hurt by the second death. The word of the Lord to God. Olimbo lo kwe buli ra lugenda kutuyimbirwa kwaya.
Our response to Psalm is taken from Psalms 124. And our response is, Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's
The second reading is to be taken in Lusoka by Honorable Taka Agnes Wejuri, Honorable Member of Parliament of Ujiri from Musawa Parish. Hey, Somo Erio Kubiri Okuva Mubalua Paolo Mutu Kirivu, Yeyawandi Kirabe Roma Omutwe Ogoktanu Okuva Kaniria Kasoka Okutuka Kukoktanu Kale Obanga Mumaisoga Katonda Tuwa baliwa okuba abatu ukirivu wa kuikiriza. Tuwa nemi rala kuluwa msengwa waife, Yezu Kristo. Kululue tuafuna okusasirwa kwa katonda kuno kwetulimu. Ela tusagamba nga tuesunga okugabana kuchitisa cha katonda. Era tusagamba ni mukuda agadaga kwa ife kuba tuidituti okuda agadaga kuvamu okugumikiriza okugumikiriza kwavamu okusimibwa katonda era okusimibwa katonda oko kwavamu Eisubi Eisubi rino Tiri tuswaza Kuba katonda Ayuo kugonza kwe Mumyoyo jaife Kuruwa moyo mtu kufu Yetuwa wewa Evyo musengwa na vyo gera Let us stand up to prepare to listen to the good news of the gospel. The gospel reading is going to be read, to be taken in English and Luganda by Deacons Kajongu Godwin and Bakubie Matia, respectively. According to Luke, 
At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, Temptations to sin are sure to come, but woe to him by whom they come. It would be better for him if a millstone were hung around his neck and were cast into the sea, that he should cause one of these little ones not to sin. Take heed to yourselves. If your brother sins, rebuke him. And if he repents, forgive him. And if he sins against you seven times in the day, and turns to you seven times and say, I repent, you must forgive him. The apostles said to the Lord, Increase our faith. And the Lord said, If you had faith as a grain of mustard seed, you could say to this sycamine tree, Be rooted up and be planted in the sea, and it would obey you. Mubud de Buli, Yezu Yagamba by Girizuabe, Tibia Sitazo, Tibire Makubao, Naya Libireta Zimusanze, Echandi Sinzo Burunji, Oyoko Sibiwa, Kubulago, Oruvengo, Asuri Wemunyanja. Aleme kule tera chesi tazo omu kubatobano. Mekanye na chino. Muganda o, muganda o wakuziza angako musango. Mukomeko ate wa mala na avu nerira. Musonyi wenga. Ne wakusobi angako emirundi o musamvu murunako olumu. Emirundi omusanvu ogona jajoli ngagamba ntimboneredde musonyi wenga awa abatume ne bagamba omukama ntitongere okukiriza omukama nagamba ntisinga mubano okukiriza ya dokutono Ngempeke ya kalidari, mwandi gambie o mtiguno o gwenke nene. Ntiwe sindule, we simbe mnyanja, neguba ulira. The Gospel of the Lord. I sit down. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Lord, increase our faith. 
Lord, dear Namgongo Pilgrims 2023, the Diocese of Jinja, on behalf of Tororo Ecclesiastical Province, namely Kotido, Moroto, Soroti, Tororo, and Jinja, the Orientals, as they are known, where traditionally wise men come from. We warmly welcome you all on this sacred ground. Here, St. Charles Luanga and his companions shed their blood for faith in Jesus Christ. We are led by one, St. Matia Mlumba, Omuise Magumba, of Chevando Parish, Mayuge District. St. Gonza Gagonza, Omulangiro Wevula Mogi, Ewazivondo, of Budini Parish, Kaliro District. These are the two matters in our province. Vana Mwekaza, Ente Jawa Yishwe, Ngo Uwoye Nalimu, Jinja last animated this day in 2002, 20 years ago. We shall next appear only 2043. <laughs> so Jinja Diocese, Busoga Subregion, be happy and proud animating this second mass. I will invite all, all those from Jinja, stand up, smile a bit, and wave the pilgrims. One day, Angelina Liakova Gururu, Matia Vateganyov Namirali, may join the line. Personally, it is indeed an honor and privilege for me, Charles Martin Wamika, Omala, Adieri. Omu Nabuka, Owe Namengo Vudaka, Omu Ise Kisige, Owe Vusoga. To be the main celebrant. The Universal Church today celebrates the mass of the Uganda martyrs. And here on the spot where they were burnt, it is I, the main celebrant, for the first and maybe the last time. <laughs> My parents, BK and MK, lost their first two boys in infancy. A certain Reverend Sister Martin, a teacher, advised mommy to name the next boy she may get after one of the martyrs. Born in 1953, she chose the martyr Karoli.
And when the villagers teased her and with Karoli, she decided to add Martin, the advisor who advised her. And the midwife was Reverend Sister Dolorita, still alive. So 69 years of age, 44 years a priest, 29 years a bishop, through sick and thin, I stand on the ground where Charles Luanga, my patron saint, was burnt to death. Many of you also have patron saints, but some of you may not be sure where and how they met their death. For me, I know. We are here to arouse, to awaken, to inspire, to pray through the matters. Lord, increase our faith. You know what? Religion, din, is taught, can be crammed. But faith can only be caught. It is infectious. If you sit in the company of someone full of faith, you might catch it. We must be serious and infectious with our faith. What kind of faith? Faith in the Supreme God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, creator of an expanding universe, 100 billion galaxies. So far as we know, human life only on the third planet Earth of our solar system. That's the faith we need to have in that supreme being. Faith like what? Faith like of Abraham. Leave your country, sacrifice your only son, Isaac. Faith of Mary. How will it be? Let your will be done. Of Joseph. Instead of stoning pregnant Mary or divorcing her quietly, take Mary home as your wife. Peter, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And after that, he denies him three times. The matters, Charles Luanga, since you are intent on burning me, Pour water on the firewood so that the fire burns slowly. My brother, my sister, what faith do you take seriously? The number of hours you spend at the poker joint and the waragi joint or on your smartphone gives us a clue. Your faith is the lifeblood of the life of heaven. It is the victory over this world. It is eternal life. Catechism question two. Why did God create you and put you in the world? To know him, to love him, to serve him, and to rejoice with him forever in heaven. We are here, but destined for heaven. How do we do the works of God? Believe in the one he has sent, Jesus Christ. But when Jesus begins to teach, love your enemies, do good to those who persecute you, Pray for them, don't curse them. If you are slapped on one cheek, offer the other as well. Gospel of today, 
if he wrongs you seven times a day and seven times comes back to you and says, I'm sorry, you must forgive him seven times. Even the apostles said, eh, if things are like that, Lord, increase our faith. I am divine, you are the branches. Cut from me, you wither and dry up. Remain in me, you must be perfect, just as your heavenly Father is perfect. But do we believe and trust Jesus with our lives enough? 1991, a youth, Emma, in Sacred Heart, Tororo, mastered to walk on a rope five feet high and ten feet long. And we wondered how this young man could walk balancing on that rope. An expert rope walker in America walked on a tight rope between two skyscrapers. Let us imagine from up there to the up that place there. So first time he walks across, then he walks backwards. To prove himself, he walked the third time. People began admiring. And to prove he, he knew what he was doing, next he walked across balancing a wheelbarrow. People began to admire and say, ah, we now believe you. And then he told them, if you truly believe in me, get in the wheelbarrow and I take you across. What would your answer be? Ah, let me say goodbye to my family first. I know some of you. Ever heard of Kamiuka? A relative of Mukajanga, the chief executioner here. Kamiuka was in line with those who were working to be burnt. And Mukajanga, the relative, tells him to get out of line and escape. So the boy sneaked away and escaped. The story goes that during the canonization of St. Peter's Basilica, he was there in tears. Why? He missed to be burnt to be a saint. So sometimes when you dodge and you escape, you miss. Revelation 2.10 encourages us do not be afraid of the sufferings that are coming to you even if you have to die keep faithful and i will give you the crown of life for your prize second reading is romans 5 3 to 5. paul cautions and exalts let us exalt too in our hardships, understanding that hardships develop perseverance. Perseverance develops a tested character, something that gives hope because the love of God has been poured in our hearts by the Holy Spirit which has been given to us. Inevitably, there will always be challenges and dissensions. How do we react to them? Albert Einstein, one of the great physicists, offers a guide. For the weak, they seek revenge. The strong, patronizingly, they say we shall forgive. The intelligent, the ignore. Do you take your faith seriously? Trouble is many Catholics are too shy. I can look around here and see. 
if you don't share your faith, it will slowly die and soon it will be dead. Believe in yourself. 2003, we were in the Paris town to welcome the diocesan Golden Jubilee Cross. The parish priest, Reverend Father Silvio Koth, had told the Christians to gather at the parish. While we were in the Paris town, lo and behold, as we wait, a catechist from one of the sub-centers, one of the outstations, appears with his delegation of about six people. On his shoulders was an improvised, worn-out tablecloth for a humeral veil. With this, he held their outstation church crucifix of about three inches high above his head. Behind him were two Akogo boys with some tune. I think it was Yalamaso, Papa Yalamaso. A woman and a small boy followed making alarations. Guess what? The delegation was right in the middle of the road. From your sub center with two Akogo boys, one woman, one child, with the cross in the I looked at him and I said, man, you are a bishop. If it was you, what would you do? I tell you that day, it dawned on me that for some Catholics, there is no shyness. For some Catholics, with faith, there is no joking. That's when it dawned on me and I learned, do small things in a great way. Do the obvious in a unique way. With faith, there is no joking. Everything else joke, jokes around, but faith is no joking. Brother Ernest Paquet taught us in differential mathematics. To commit something to memory, read it, no. See it with your eyes open. See it with your eyes closed. Articulate loudly with your mouth. Write it in the air with your finger in big letters. And act it out with your whole body. How do we say it from the heart? Can we say it in such a way that is infectious? Today, what are the matters telling us? Ever since Palisa, eh, that time when I told the translator to translate, because well, I didn't know the languages, that's when I heard Ateso, Kotomayun Mama Polia. Some have heard, Kotomayun. Mama Polia said, Wow, even the music has come in. Lumasava, Mufugirila, Mpayo Sinayota. Father Mayamba is smiling. We went to Bukia, Kapchora, Kwaimani, Hakuna Muchezo. We came to Adola area. Iyeyo ongo yetuko. You can even turn it around. Ituko ongo yeyo. The Samia mufugiri la evro mubayo. By the time we came to Busoga, my dear, awalo kuikiriza. Awalo kuikiriza. 
That was for the pilgrims. Let us also tell the neighborhood of Namgongo. Awero kuikiriza. Lastly, let us also invite the saints and the martyrs up in heaven to come here so that people don't go back as they came. So they are a little bit changed. Awero kuikiriza. The other languages I'm still learning. When you go to a restaurant, especially for us bachelors, uh, you need a doggy bag so that what you don't eat there, you take back home. Dear bishops and priests, we are the official and expert teachers of faith and how to get to heaven. When the tests come, don't do the exams for the students. The martyrs became martyrs when the priests then had taken cover in Tanzania. That's when they were brave enough to become martyrs. So if you over pamper your people there, they will never be martyrs. Today is a national holiday. We thank our government, the Ministry of Tourism. Thank you for advertising and promoting the image of Uganda here and abroad. <clears throat> See how the Uganda Matters are also helping you in this cause. Thank you for helping them to help you to promote Uganda. You can see. Married life is a continuous struggle. You have to continuously look for new tricks. The old ones may no longer work for you. St. Matia Mulumba first joined the Muslims, then the Protestants. When he started attending the catechism of Ludell, he had four or five women, not too sure. On May 28th, he decided to join the Catholic Church. He was baptized, confirmed, and wedded as the first wedded couple in Uganda. So you Catholic men who are here, who have four women, who are giving you four years, drop one each year, so that at the end you wed one. No. Our religious men and women, anyway, you are already religious enough. I visited the Lourdes some time back. And I learned from their brochure that they have more than 200 hotels of more than 200 beds. And guess what? Some of those hotels were for the religious. Now you are poor, but when you get rich, also put some hotels for this for to begin being hosted here. The children. St. Christo has demonstrated your innocence. Even the Lord Jesus advised grown-ups, unless you become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of God. As you pray to pass exams, pray for your parents also to get the school fees and square up their marriage. The Catholic Poco vendors of Namugongo. Now that you have got all that holy money from the pilgrims, how about paying one eighth instead of one tenancy for Ndobolo? The youth of today, you see more affected by modern life. Smartphone, internet. Mpise Nungi, good manners seem to have been thrown overboard. The majority of the Uganda matters were youth like you. When you grow old, how about creating a website 
www.mpsenungi.com Dear pilgrims, look around and take note. When you get back home, what is it you will share about the matters? May the Lord increase your faith so you get whatever you ask for today. Cardinal Arinze from Nigeria advises homilists, when you come to the end, stop and leave the faithful in peace before they leave you in pieces. The Lord be with you. <laughs> Let us once again, with a clap, thank the Bishop of Ginya for the word which nourishes our soul. Omusumba tumukubile ko mungalo, ulebi gambo ya tuburiri de. Tugendo kulira, abantu abato notono, okutuburira mubi impi impi, monimi ezenja ulo, ebyo ya tugambe. Muruganda, mubufunze, bieveno. Atuburi de nti omulamwa, Ay Mukama Tuongero Kukiriza. Um Sumbayaniriza Bonava Lamazi Murinyarya Saze Kuru Eriet Tororo Era ne Murinyarya Sazari Jinja Atujukiza Dituri Kutaka Tukuvu Ava Julizi Webaira Om Sai Gwawe Erana Jukiza Abavu de Jinja, Java Julizi, Matia Murumba, Negonza Gagonza, Batukuri Mbede, Okutule Tawano. Omusumba, Agambie, Ntia Funye, Omkisa, Ogwenja Uro, Okukuri Mbera, Echita Mirocha Misa, Mutifo, Omoto Kirivu, Omore Rezawe, we yaburuamu Kalori Ruanga. We aware yo of Lamobwe. And so Galwachi Tuli Wano Kwe Kuzu Kusa No Kusikiriza Balala O Kwesigaba Julizi No Kwe Ambisa of Wodereza Wawe. Echo Chitu Yambe O Kukula Mukukiriza. Ngo mula mwa ogo mwa kaguno ogo na kuno lava julizi weguri atubuli denti mchitabe chitu kuvu tu sanga mubani abatu kule mbela mukukiriza okugeza ngai Ibrahimu niyafeviki la Maria Josephu ne Petero elanga kuno kugata na lava julizi. Awe tuwebuliza, ndifetu imi ite tutia mkukiriza kwa fe. Okukiriza, kwe kututusa mblamo vuta guwao. Okukiriza, kwe kuangu zenseno. Okukiriza, kutueta kisa okubaba gumo, era abavumo, mwevyo ebitu somoza. Okubaba kiliza wa na madala Tulina okugabanyiza kawalala Okukiliza kwa fe Chana kunti abakatoli chibanji Baline nsonyi Webitu uka kubye wa kiliza Tagabanyiza walala kukiliza kuo Kugenda kusebe ngelela Era nekufira dala Omusumba agami enti Bietu isemu, wabaye bia isemu, imulaze, nti awali okukiriza, te waba muzanyo, te waba kusaga. Kunko merero, omusumba, atujukiza, obuvuna njizibu wafe, 
mumbera za fe ezenja ulo eri abakleyo asosoroti nabasumba atulaze ntutino okuyigirize dini nobu kugu oba father ludero mapera ne banne okuyigiriza aba kristu okuba abanywevu mukukiriza kwawe yonna ebesanga ngafete tuli iyo eri aba kulembeze abebyo bufuzi asimye edembe eri awe bwabakiriza okusobola okusinza kuluna kuluno olwaba julizi ba Uganda nokuba samu ekitibwa abafumbo ababuliride nti obulamu bwa kutetenkanya obudde bwonna ababuliride abulide abali mu nsonga okutwala ekyo kulabirako ekyamati ya mulumba eyevamu naleka abachyala balala era nasigaza omu we yagatta na yempeta weve mu buli mwaka oteko omu okutusa luosigaza omuchalo omu gwona asiba na yempeta eri abana dini abasajja na abakazi atubulide twewale ekikemo ekyo kutwalirizibwa ABNC na dala mu nsanje zino abana abato abagambye nti mutwale kizito omuto nge ekyo kulabirako ate musabire abazadde bamwe okutuukiriza obulungi obunanyizibwa bwaabwe nokulongosa obufumbo bwaabwe abasubuzi abenna mugongo abafunye nnyo munaku zineza abajulizi temwera bila kuwayo ichimwe ichi kumi abavubuka mwabali mu maso mukumanya bya teknolojia muigire ku bajulizi abali abavubuka anga mwe okumanya okumanya kwa mwe kubayambe okututumula mpise nnungi eri abalamazi fenna afundi kidenga atugamba twetegereze era tubeeko ekyo kuyiga kitunagabanyizaako abo betwale seka tugenda okulira enjigiza yo musumba mu rulimi oluswahili Taifa la Mungu teule wa Kristo wapendwa Mungu ni mwema na kila wakati jukumu langu ni kutafsiri kwa mambo machache hotuba iliyotolewa na askofu askofu aliyotoa hotuba ni askofu wa jimbo la Jinja mwashamu Charles Martin Wamika Baba Skofu alianza na kutukumbusha kaulimbiu ya mwaka huu imetolewa kwenye injili ya mtakatifu Luka sura ya 17 mstari wa tano. inasema e bwana utuongeze imani Baba Skofu alitukaribisha kwa heshima na tadima alikaribisha mahujaji wote tumekaribishwa kwa niaba ya jimbo kuu la kanisa la Tororo ambamo kuna majimbo ya Tororo Soroti Moroto Kotido na jimbo la Jinja ambalo limeongoza hafla ya mwaka huu ametukumbusha kwamba tupo mahali patakatifu ambapo mashahidi wa Uganda walimwaga damu kwa ajili ya imani yao 
alitukumbusha kwamba kwenye hao watakatifu kuna wawili ambao wanatoka kwenye sehemu ya busoga yani Matia Mulumba na Gonzaga Gonza waliotuongoza kutoka Jinja Baba Skofu anahisi kwamba ameheshimiwa sana ameheshimiwa mno kwa njia ya kipekee anajivunia sana kusimama na kusherehea misa hii takatifu mahala ambapo somo wake mtakatifu Charles Luanga alikutana na kifo chake anayo furaha tele kwa sababu hakutarajia kwamba mtoto aliyezaliwa mwaka elfu moja mia tisa hamsini na tatu ataongoza hafla ya mashahidi mahali ambapo somo wake alimwaga damu kwa ajili ya imani yake na skofu alituambia kwamba ametimiza miaka arobaini na nne kwa upadre na amekuwa askofu miaka ishirini na tisa lengo la kuwepo kwetu hapa ametuambia baba skofu ni kwa musha na kuhamasisha wenzetu kusali kupitia kwa maombezi yao mashahidi wa Uganda kwa msingi wa kaulimbiu au mandari yetu ni lazima tuwe na imani baba skofu alisisitiza kwamba tunayo mifano miema mingi kwenye biblia ya watu walioishi imani yao kwa mfano Abrahamu, Yozefu, Petero na mwisho mashahidi wa Uganda ambao wako karibu nasi tunao mashahidi wa Uganda. Askofu aliuza, aliuliza swali kwamba je imani yetu ikoje? Tuko imara kwa imani yetu au inalegea legea? Aliuliza baba Askofu, alisema imani yetu iko wapi? Akasema kwamba imani yetu ni damu ya uhai wa maisha ya mbinguni. Imani yetu ni ushindi juu ya ulimwengu huu. Imani yetu ni maisha ya milele. Askofu alisema bila shaka changamoto zipo na zitakuwepo mara kwa mara tunajikuta kwenye njia panda lakini tukiwa na imani thabiti tutafaulu baba skofu aliongezea kwamba imani inahitaji uvumilivu hasa wakati wa majaribio na mateso aliuliza tunachukua imani yetu kwa umakini ali sema tukikutana na shida tunakuaje alisema pia wakatoliki wengi ni waoga mno akaonya kwamba usiposhiriki imani yako itakufa pole pole na mwishowe itakufa kabisa tuwe makini kuzingatia imani yetu hasa wakati wa majaribio na mateso Alisema kuna wakatoliki ambao wanatumia muda mwingi kwa simu au kwa starehe au kwa semu, sehemu za burudani au kutafuna kitimoto au kama wengine wanamuita mbuzi mkatoliki hapa Uganda wanasema ngurue Baba Skofu aliendelea kwamba kwa uzoefu wetu kwa imani imetufikisha kwenye itimisho kuwa kwa imani hakuna mchezo au kwa imani hakuna mzaha au penye pana imani hakukuangi 
na mchezo askofu ametoa ujumbe maalum kwa kila kikundi kila mmoja wetu ana jukumu la kutimiza alianza na mapadre ambao ni walimu wataalam wa imani kama vile padre Lodel na marafiki zake baba askofu ametukumbusha kwamba tuwasaidie wa Kristo kusimama imara katika imani hata nyakati ambazo hatupo kwa serikali aliwashukuru kwa kutangaza siku ya mashahidi wa Uganda kama likizo kwa sababu 